it this time. Go get it. Go get it, Mermelade. Fetch the ball. Good girl. Now, bring it back. That's it. Bring it back. Oh, not again. No, Marmalade! Marmalade? Huh? Marmalade! Huh? Where's your ball? Oh, you want another ball, huh? I've been trying to teach you to fetch, not hide. We're running out of balls. Now this time, bring it back, okay? Uh, bring it back, bring it back, Marmalade. To me, bring it here, to me. To me. Good girl, good girl. <laughs> huh? Naughty girl, naughty girl. Now where do you think you're going with that? Morning, Orange. Oh, hi. What's wrong? Oh, Cherry, I've been trying all morning to teach Marmalade to fetch balls, but all she does is run off with them. I don't know where she goes, but when she comes back, the balls are gone. Huh? There you are. Where have you been? This is our last ball. Cinepup knows how to fetch. Maybe if she showed Marmalade how. Oh, that's a great idea, Cherry. Worth a try. Cinepup! Wanna play fetch the ball? Huh? Fetch the ball? Go get it, girl! Good it go! Catch! Mm. Hey! Marmalade! That isn't polite! Oh. Marmalade? Where did you go? Marmalade! Oh, what has gotten into that puppy? Where does she go? You know, Strawberry helped me teach Cinepup how to fetch. Maybe if you asked her, she could help you with Marmalade. I'll take her to see Strawberry. As soon as she comes back, that is. Marmalade! Oh! <laughs> See what I mean? Come on, you. We're going to visit Strawberry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love you, too. Come on. Want to see Strawberry? <laughs> Let's go see Strawberry. <laughs> okay, so each team has a pen and paper for writing clues? And you all have your secret treasures? Mm -hmm. So how this treasure hunt works is, each team will write three clues. The first clue will lead to the location of the second, and so on. At each location, you will find a secret treasure. Whichever team finds the secret treasures first will win the jackpot! Which is back in town, waiting. Just so we don't get in each other's way, why doesn't my team go this way? And Blueberry, your team could go that way. Good idea, Strawberry. Okay. We will have one hour to hide clues and treasure, and we'll gather back here afterwards. And then we can begin the treasure hunt. Yay! Oh, Plum! Ready to show I can be a good citizen. Do you want to be in the Good Citizens Club? Yes. I can't hear you. Yes. I still can't hear you. Yes. You must take the test of good citizenness. Whatever it is, I'll do my very best. Yes, yes, yes. So. Your first test will be to paint the clubhouse inside and out so it looks nice before the first meeting of the Good Citizens Club. Inside 
and out? Uh, is that too hard? Because instead you could... Absolutely not too hard for me. I am happy to do my best to make the Good Citizens Club look fabulous for everyone. Oh, no, 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 no. Start on that side. You're blocking my tan over there. I don't know. I think that blue clashes with my eyes. Can you do a lighter shade? What's that? Here, give me the paintbrush. That's more like it. That looks like a rabbit. It looks like a flower. It doesn't. Does too. It doesn't. Does too. It doesn't. <sighs> Exactly the way we wanted it! Are you sure you think it's not good? Should you do it over? No, no, it looks terrific, really. Let's wait to get the other member's opinion before we go changing anything. So is that it? Do I get my pin now? Well, uh, you finished the first test. Congratulations! First test? How many are there? Uh, uh three. Yeah, three's good. Yeah, we always use three. Uh huh, three. Oh. <sighs> it was real dark in the berry patch, but Kaylee and Kyle were on the case. They were going to get to the bottom of this monster mystery. When out of the bushes came a horrible sound. <gasps> Just like the legend warned. First, you hear the noise. Then you feel the heat of the rancid breath of seven noses. Then... The slobbering of seven tongues. No! Its teeth were long and glistened in the moonlight. Beady eyes and 14 flaring nostrils. There is no escape from this monster in the berry patch. M monster in the berry patch? Why did we ever decide to visit Berry Bitty City? I thought you said it was peaceful here. Welcome to Berry Bitty City and the Marketplace Cafe. Would you like a table? No thanks. Lost our appetite. Huh? Can't get out of here fast enough. Do you know they have a monster in Berry Bitty City? It has seven noses and seven teeth and long tongues that glisten in the moonlight. I heard that the whole town is packing up and evacuating. My word, it's worse than we thought. Better steer clear of Berry Bitty City. Yoo-hoo! Miss Pudding! The door's locked. <laughs> We're here for our dance lessons. I hear knocking, but not three times. Strawberry was right. She wasn't kidding. I thought maybe she was being silly. She's definitely being silly. <clears throat> Password, please? Betcha it's a ballet dance step. Plie? <laughs> nay, nay. Sorry. It's her favorite pie. Uh, um, is it gooseberry? My favorite pie. But not the password. Hmm. How about ridiculous? <laughs> ridiculous it is. I'll say. Uh, uh, uh. Yellow hats? But we don't have any yellow hats. Then I'm afraid... Are you serious? You're not going to let us in because we're not wearing hats? Yellow hats. Oh, but Miss Pudding, I've been practicing my foxtrot for a week. I almost have all my feet together. <laughs> fair is fair. Rules are rules. Oh, I've never heard of anything so silly. Hmm, me neither. Oh, but it gives me an idea. Oh, shoot, shoot. Okay, so we're all gonna go. Where's Plum? She's never late for book club. Maybe I'll give her a call. Hi, 
Plum. It's Strawberry. We're all waiting for you over at Blueberries for Book Club. Uh-huh. Okay. I understand. She says she needs to practice for the recital. Hmm. She should have had plenty of time to practice today, given that she wouldn't let anyone in for class. I know. I don't know what's gotten into her. Sesame? Sorry. Tickle? Nope. <sighs> well, I'll have to come by another time then. I can't guess. That's it. You got it. Hmm? The password. It's guess. <laughs> Pretty clever, huh? Uh, uh, but you're not wearing a yellow hat. Plum, I think we need to talk. I know you're upset with me, but it seems like you're taking this grudge too far. I don't know what you mean. All these nonsense rules? If you think my rules are nonsense, what about Raspberry's rules? Raspberry has rules? Come in. <laughs> but don't forget, you may only stand on the dots. What? Oh, Strawberry! It's you! You don't have to stand on the dots. May I ask, who does? Well, when Plum comes here for her fittings of her dance costume, she has to. Ooh. Fair's fair! If Plum's going to make me obey silly rules for her dance studio, then she's going to have to obey my silly rules, too. <laughs> and besides, I'm not the only one who feels this way. Lemon and Mr. Longface have silly rules for Plum, too. What kind of rules? <laughs> well, uh, Lemon makes Plum wear a green hat to come to the salon, then whistle while she's getting her hair and nails done. Oh, and she has to recite a poem called Ode to a Caterpillar and call <laughs> Mr. Longface Sir Highness Longface before she can even enter his mini bitty golf course. See the real person in you. Uh, when they see the real friendship in you. When they see the real star shine in you. Oh, I'll never find the right ending. When they hear the real music in you. That's it! Sorry, I heard you singing and, well, the words just kind of came to me. Am I ever glad they did? Thank you. It's perfect. Would it be okay if I used your words in my song? Of course. I'm Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. This is Pupcake and Custard. Oh, so cute. And what's your name? Uh... Buttercup. Nice to meet you, Buttercup. Are you... <laughs> Do you smell cherry blossoms? Oh, um... <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't smell anything except strawberries. Uh, you were asking? Oh, uh... Yes, uh, I was gonna ask if you're out here alone. Uh-huh. Just sort of driving through, and I've always wanted to have a picnic. You've never had a picnic before? Uh, well... No. Well, I'll let you enjoy. It was nice to meet you, Buttercup. Nice meeting you, too. Thank you for your help. Sure. Come on, guys. Back to the harvest. <laughs> Just like I hoped it would be. Cheers! <laughs> the Cherry Jam Fan Club would like to extend a very big welcome to you and your entire entourage. No! My 
entourage? You know, the people who go everywhere with you and wait on you hand and foot? Well, I kind of thought it'd be fun to kind of get away and come here on my own. I don't have an entourage with me. You do now! Uh, about Strawberry. Oh, shush. We're keeping you a secret until tomorrow. Come park over here. Here she goes! Make Mary for Cherry Jam! That's not what I want to say. Or that. Oh. No, I can do better than that. Hello, Strawberry. Having trouble writing your election speech? Uh, not my speech. My resignation letter. Resignation? <laughs> Are you dropping out of the election? Yes. I don't want to run for Berry Fresh Princess anymore. But why not? It's a great honor, you know. And we really need a Berry Fest princess. I know, but the election is causing too much trouble. Everyone has to make a choice between Orange and me, and it doesn't seem right. We've always been about friends and togetherness. But now, everyone in town is forced to pick one or the other. And some don't know who to vote for and are unhappy. So... So, I think it's best if I drop out of the race. I'm not sure you're seeing why people should have a choice of who to vote for. You think it's, if you vote for me, you like me, and if you vote for her, you like her. But it's not really about that. It sure feels that way. Voting shouldn't be about who anyone likes, but the choice they're offering. And it's good to have different choices in things. A choice in what you want to eat for lunch, or, or what to wear, or anything. And you know that just because the people of Barry Bitty City might not agree on who to vote for, they can still get along. You and your friends have different opinions, yet you all get along. Isn't that right? We do. <laughs> well, most of the time. Too bad my own campaign managers don't. Well, it works best wet, you know. But why did you just dry our hair then? Um, relaxation? Let's just use the, uh, handheld dryer this time, okay? Is something wrong, Lemon? No! Why do you ask? Get everything cleaned up. Oops. <laughs> hey, I think I left my Skittle Jinx by the cable cue joint. Everything's going crazy! 
Come here, come here. He's gotta say that. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Stop shoving, would you? What are you talking about? Were you eating toast? No, no. It attacked me. Oh, you were attacked by a piece of toast. Well, Ed, I'm, I'm, I'm only telling you what happened. I don't know how she can stand it. Who can stand what? Strawberry can stand working in a cafe that's, you know, haunted. Haunted. Haunted? There's no such thing, Earl. Eesh, you and your fancy imagination. Well, Ed, I, I'm only telling you what... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got work to do. Come on. <laughs> you made me leave my Skittle jinx behind again. Well, Ed, I didn't mean to... Wait for me! You stay up there! <sighs> Chin up, let's strut our stuff. <laughs> that sweater is so style, so chicish. Oh, so you. <laughs> Okay, Scouty, let's see what you can do. Good boy. That's it. Now, how to get you to do the same thing without using the doggy biscuits? Hmm, a mystery indeed. Whoa, where are you going? Wait, slow down! Ouch! Where are you going? Whoa! Help! Oh! <laughs> Wait, I think if I go under and if you go over... Ouch! Hold on, Scouty! Stop pulling! Sorry, excuse me! when you're away from home. Not this time. I was looking forward to, you know, sleeping under the stars. Huh? huh? You mean like a camp out? Exactly, a camp out. Oh, do we have the perfect camping spot for you? Uh, yeah, that's right. Just stay right here, uh, relax, and we'll get it all ready for you. Yeah, let's go, girls. 
you're gonna love it! Why did you tell her that? We can't let her camp out. You know what she's used to? Five-star luxury. Six-star. If we let her sleep in some old sleeping bag, she'll never want to come back again. So, here's the plan. Okay, do you guys remember the article? Yeah. 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 Now, it's really not much. Probably not what you're used to. We hope it's comfortable enough for a star. A star of super magnitude. That means really, really big. Well, what do you think? It is really big, isn't it? Don't you want to see the inside? <laughs> of course. We copied your bedroom from your article. Bedroom of a star in very big glitz and glamour. Everything you have when you're at home has been duplicated here. Well, probably not exactly, but we did our best. <laughs> Thank you. It's very thoughtful of you. This is a camp out fit for a star. That's what my managers and my agents and my entourage would say. Ooh, her entourage! Well, See you in the morning! <laughs> Scouty, I feel like this is where we started. Are you leading us in circles? <laughs> What's that? It's the other pups! Finally! <laughs> we found Hello. you! We were lost, too! Hooray! Huh? Scouty? What's wrong with you guys? We better head back. Uh, let's call it a tie, and we can all share the Berry Bitty Banana Chips. Yay! I'm starving! <laughs> What's wrong with the pups? Oh. <sighs> So that's where they were sneaking off to the whole time. Our treasure is gone. <gasps> oh, no, it's not. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to the cafe, and I'll make a fresh batch of Berry Bitty Banana Chips. On your mark... Get set! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Marmalade, no! That's not a toy. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to teach her. <laughs> That's okay. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go! Get to the lake. Well, how? I can't see where we're going. <sighs> Look down, Earl. What do you see? My feet. And what else? Your feet. Ugh. What else, Earl? Rocks? Right! Rocks! When we get to the lake, we'll look down and see Lake! 